Hi guys, so today I'm going to go through my current skincare routine. Um, just a bit of background, before I started as a hairdresser, my first passion really was skincare. I trained as a beauty therapist um, and skincare for me has always been a huge passion of mine. So my skincare collection is pretty vast. Um, there's lots of things I like to try. Um, I'm a bit of a skincare tart, you know, I like to try different brands, different products, um, mix it up a little bit. But I'm just going to show you a few of the things I use on a regular basis. Um, things I always come back to and they've been staples in my routine and things that I would always repurchase. So first of all, we'll start off with cleansers. My main staple is the Yves Long. So Yves Long cleanser, a real cult beauty classic. I'm sure most of you are aware of the Yves Long cleanser. Um, a really nice, rich texture, transforms into an oil on the skin. Once you buff it off with a muslin cloth, it does leave a really nice smooth feeling behind. The skin is pretty moisturised after using it. Um, so that's one I tend to use in the evening as a main cleanse. And then in the morning, I tend to use the Elemis Melting Cleansing Gel. So again, this is a more of an oil balm texture, um, but it leaves a slight matte feeling behind. So because I'm a little bit of a combination skin, it's lovely in the morning because it just mattifies down the centre of the face. And again, leaves the skin feeling really soft. And then in partnership with those two products, I use my trusty Clarisonic. I've had this several years use it nearly every day if not twice a day and it's a fantastic tool your skin feels a million times smoother and cleaner uh, using this than when you don't then moving on to skincare items themselves for me because I use a lot of exfoliants in my routine a um, really important step is an SPF so in the morning I tend to use Ultrasun so this is a once a day product it's really light it doesn't make the skin break out in my case um, it's not particularly oily or heavy, but you just apply it once a day and you're covered for uh, sort of eight, eight plus hours without having to reapply. So that's a great product, it feels really nice on the skin. Sometimes I'll use the um, EGF serum, so that's this one here. Now this is crazy expensive, but you do just use it on its own, so at night time I just use uh, two or three drops of that. If my skin's feeling a little bit more dry, um, if I've overdone it with the exfoliation, through the week I'll tend to use the EGF. Again it's got epidermal growth factor in and it's the only one um, that I'm aware of that's from a plant source. Um, it's actually from, I believe it's from barley or some sort of green plant. And um, yeah, so it stimulates the, um, the skin to, to make its own regenerative, regenerative qualities. Um, really nice product, it does feel quite oily and rich so maybe if you're in oily skin it might feel a little bit too rich. But I think um, in the morning you don't feel really greasy or heavy so it's a nice product. For morning I will tend to use quite light products again because I've got an oilier skin however if my skin is feeling a bit on the dry side I'll tend to put a couple of drops of the Deku or Aramessence on in the Neroli. You don't really feel it at all because you only use three drops and it does just seem to give the skin a bit more moisture, luminosity um, without interfering with your kind of makeup for the day or making your skin look particularly oily. Another daytime product I'll occasionally use is from Alpha H and this is the Liquid Gold Perfecting Day Wear. I've also used the traditional Liquid Gold at night time as well and that's a fantastic product again for really intensively resurfacing the skin with glycolic acid. And then moving on, a brand that's a bit more probably not really heard of, it's formulated by a lady in the States and um, it's sort of custom made by her um, and it's called Perfect Complexion. She's got a website called perfectcomplexion.net and lots and lots of kind of esthetician grade products. So this one here is from the Appeal line. So it is, it is a strong product um, based on retinol, um, retinoic acid. So it's an exfoliator. Um, it makes the skin peel over a few days. So again, if my skin does feel particularly cloggy or in need of a boost, I'll use the Appeal line um, from Julie, Perfect Complexion. Um, and then you leave it on sort of 10 20 minutes, but it's very again very customized to your needs. And then a few days down the line, you'll start to experience um, a slight slough of, of skin, dead skin cells. But it really does give the skin a really nice luminosity, really clears it out. It's fantastic if you've seen uh, fine lines and wrinkles. And then some products from my probably all time favorite line it's a line I've rediscovered over the past couple of years. I used these products years and years ago and then kind of forgot about it a little bit um, and came back to it mainly because of Wayne, cosmetic artist. Um, got me hooked again and it's Paula's Choice. So my favourite product at the moment is the Resist. 
So I had to get this um, via eBay. We don't sell this here in the UK because the strength is not allowed within the EU. So I knew it was amazing. Um, so I had to get my hands on it. It's a really light foam. It's got 4% BHA, so salicylic acid. So great for people with black pores, blackheads, oiliness, rough skin texture, sun damage, wrinkles. It's really kind of a multi-purpose product. But surprisingly, it's a stronger percentage than I used to use, which is the 2%, but it seems to make me far less dry. So I can use this more than once a week, sometimes two, three, four times a week. Um, and then again, I'll have a night off if my skin feels a little bit on the dry side. Another favourite would be from the Resist line. This is the Daily Smoothing Treatment. Looking a little bit battered there, you can tell I use it well. Um, and that's more of a glycolic acid blend, so that's great for retexturising the surface of the skin, whereas the salicylic acid exfoliates the pore. So if I'm feeling a little bit rough in some areas, the um, daily smoothing treatment is great to just apply. Usually in the morning I'll use that, just to kind of nibble away any uh, dry dead skin cells. Another favourite is the Resist Again. So I'm all about resisting ageing, as you can tell. This is the Retinol Serum. So I'll use this at night time, um, probably only once or twice a week with the Retinol, or as and when I feel I need it. It's quite a rich silicone texture, um, airless pump, so it really preserves the lifetime of the product. The great thing with Paula's Choice products is there's nothing in there that isn't kind of backed by clinical studies. There's no outrageous claims. Um, it's just very hardworking skincare that does what it says on the tin. And I can't really rave about it highly enough. And then in the daytime, on top of or instead of my Ultra Sun, I'll sometimes use the Paula's Choice Hydrolyte. So this is a very light uh, moisturiser with an SPF of 30. So it's a nice matte texture, it takes a few minutes to absorb, but it definitely doesn't leave the skin again oily or shiny. Um, so a nice product for under makeup as a primer. And again, you're getting that essential SPF protection when you are using the likes of exfoliants. So that really sums up my kind of key skincare products. Um, as I say, there's loads to choose from. I've got a big collection um, I've collected over the years, but those are the things I tend to come back to again and again. Um, for me, looking after your skin from an early age is really important. Hopefully it'll delay the, the need for any anyway, procedures in the future. Thank you for listening and hopefully I'll see you again soon with some more skincare based videos. Thanks guys.